Jackson. Like Latin, a bit of rock. The Temptations, Michael Jackson. Latin jazz, blues, hip hop, anything that uh, can get me going. I think it's really important for the students to express themselves through music that they enjoy. And a lot of the kids here listen to jazz and funk and hip hop as well. And so trying to incorporate those elements into what they perform brings joy to them. There's not that many schools in New York City that really focus their music curriculum on jazz. And jazz is a music that will teach you everything about music. We're working on a composition project right now to try and get them to think about rhythm and notes at the same time. They choose notes from the blues scale along with rhythm through strong parameters we set out and each class is getting input into this piece of music which in the end everyone will come together and play as one. Richard's a tough teacher. There's no such thing as an excuse when you're learning from Richard. He's very charismatic and open to the musicians and the students. We get to work together, there's magic going on, you know. With Richard, we're coming up with um, these things called cells. So it'd be like two measures of music, and we'd take those two measures and we'd make a rhythm out of it, and then we put notes to that rhythm. Do you want to finish it by hitting the downbeat again, or do you just want to go ba 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 ba? You want to hit the downbeat? Okay. The project is spread over five weeks. It culminates in this very unique performance at Lehman College. We're going to take it out into the community and give these kids a sense of what it's like to go out and actually perform in front of people because the experience is really rewarding for all of them. But right now we just have the nucleus of something that they've created and everyone has had a part in deciding what happens when and I think that's unique for them. There's a rest on four that you come on the end of one, two, three, four, right? With Richard, we're composing one, and two, three, we try to give them the four, tools. Right. They learn the scales, they learn the right. notes, they learn how to play their instrument. A lot of the times we'll be clapping the rhythm right. and until we get that right, until we can sight read it properly, right. we won't move on. All right, you guys want to try it? One, two, three, four. All right, let's go. It's really great to tell the kids that they can do it, that they can do this, and you're going to write this piece of music. And they sort of didn't believe that they could write a piece of music, but once you, you set the scaffolding and the parameters for them to achieve it, they look back three or four weeks later and say, wow, we started from there and now we're here. I think it's a good positive experience for them. To me, being in music is also team building. It's learning to collaborate. A band is one thing. And even though there are numerous people in that band, you all must come together as one group. There's a lot of skills that get taught in music, besides just learning how to play an instrument. It's really about them realizing that they have a choice about outcomes, and the pride that you then see in these students when they come in and they're part of the band, and their self-esteem begins to grow from the realization that they can work and improve. I want to become a music teacher when I grow up. I want to be a teacher that encourages the students and makes music what it really is. It's fun and it's just music. Yeah.